Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And, uh, by the grace of God, when I uh, go into this running way, somebody say running way. Running way. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Running, amen, well. Because how do you know that it, we're running in a race? Thank you, Lord. Whether you want to see it that way or not, the Word of God describes it that way. Hallelujah. That we are running in a race. And we are to, God expects us to run well. Even as the Spirit of the Lord is speaking through the Apostle here to the Galatians who had, were, who had been running well, but had now been hindered, oh my God, in not obeying the truth. Oh my God. You know, uh, Running well, one of the first things that is known of it is that it's obedience uh, to the truth. Thank you, Lord. As the Lord began to uh, tell them who began to believe on him, to continue in my word. Hallelujah. You shall know the truth, and the truth will make you free. Somebody say, make you free. Hallelujah, my God. So believing on him is just where it starts. Thank you, Lord. Continuing in his word. Hallelujah, my God. Continuing in obedience to his word. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Is how you continue running. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. But there's been an interference uh, to the Galatians here. They have been hindered and have stopped heeding and following the truth. Oh, my God. And, uh, that, that passion or that persuasion. Rather, my God, it did not come from the Lord. Oh, my God, who Amen. had called them uh, into the liberty of Christ. Oh, my God, hallelujah. Now, they were receiving some little error, just a slight inclination from the truth. And instead of walking, my God, entering in at that street gate and walking in that narrow way, my God, hallelujah. Now they were taking a step away from the truth that that little living was going to continue to live the whole lump until they be restored. Thank you, Lord. Tell somebody it's important to run away. It's important to run away. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Now, in the uh, fifth verse of Galatians, uh, chapter 5, there, it says, Oh, my God, uh, the Holy Ghost led him uh, to, to come forth with, uh, for we through the Spirit wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. It's through the Spirit. The Galatians had to get, to get into some fleshly things. Thank you, Lord. And we as a church, we don't want to get into fleshly things. Uh, you know, we want to stay spiritual, uh, spiritually minded. Thank you, Lord. We want to walk in the Spirit and not fulfill the lust of the flesh. And I'm here to tell you, the Spirit of God is not going to lead us to dress any kind of way. Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah, my God. You know, uh, the, the Scripture speaks about how that uh, one uh, uh, sins or commits sin in their heart already when they lust after another. Now, you know, and when we dress a certain way to provoke them, you know, the one who offend them, the one who falls in the stumble, is also, my God, committing sin. Y'all know that? Amen. It does matter how we dress. And does anybody know how the first man and the first woman was dressed? Anybody know who dressed them? Exactly. The way they dressed was it acceptable to God? No. They slapped on fig leaf. That was not acceptable to God. Thank you, Lord. Can I ask you something? Has God changed? Was that under the law or before the law? Exactly. It didn't have nothing to do with the law. All God, the Spirit of God, hallelujah, dressed him. He put something that was not a jacket, not a tank top. Come on in. A coat with Amen, my God. Long, loose, something it was. So we need to remember that. Hallelujah, my God. It's all about we through the Spirit. 
Thank you, Lord. We wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. Hallelujah, my God. It's through the Spirit, the Holy Ghost help in our life. That by faith we anticipate and we wait for the blessing and for the good uh, for which our righteousness and our right standing with God, hallelujah, my God, what it will, uh, uh, how it conforms us, his righteousness conforms us to his will and purpose and thought and action, hallelujah, my God. We ought to have that hope to be like him. Somebody say, when he comes. Yep. Amen. Because when we got that kind of hope, how long to be like him when he comes, we're going to be busy purifying ourselves, even as he is pure. Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Look at somebody say, only the pure in heart will see God. Only the pure in heart. Thank you, Lord. So if you want to see him, my God, as he is when he comes, then it's going to be important, hallelujah, to be busy purifying ourselves now. Hallelujah, my God. Now, in John chapter 1, verse 12. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to see how that with the Lord is all about believing in Him, being baptized into Him, and abiding in Him. Somebody say amen. amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because remember, we, through the Spirit, wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. Yes. Thank you, Lord. We wait through, in, through the Spirit, my God, through walking in the Spirit, minding the things of the Spirit. We wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, my God. Oh, my God. In verse 12 of John chapter 1 says, But as many as received him, to them gave he power, my God, to become the sons of God. He gave him power. Amen. He gave him the authority and the right, to, my God, to become the sons of God. And who are they? Even to them that believe on his name. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. In Romans chapter 6, verse 3, the scripture says, Look ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Because in believing on his name, we will be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus for the remission of our sins. We'll be baptized into his death. Thank you, Lord. His death will be put on our account. He's the one that died for our sins. So we don't have to die for our sins. Somebody say, thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. If you don't say it like you did, somebody say, thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. You died for my sins. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And that's why I've been baptized into your death in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And in Galatians chapter 3, verse, my God, 26 to 27, it says, For if you are all the children of God, somebody say, by faith in Christ Jesus. Say it like me, by faith in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. And he goes on to say, For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, my God. Because we need to focus on this here. My God, with the Lord is all about believing in him, being baptized into him, and abiding in him. Thank you, Lord. See, this is, the, see, it's a race here that we're in. Thank you, Lord. And it's not about who can run the fastest, who is the mightiest, and all that stuff. It's all about the one who endures to the end. Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Because if we don't endure to the end, my God, we're going to wind up in the wrong place. Right. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And in John chapter 15, thank you, Lord. Verse 5 uh, through 10, the Lord Jesus said, I am the man. Ye are the branches. He that abide in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing. Without me ye can do nothing. Without me ye can do nothing. It starts with him. It's going to, my God, continue with him. And it's going to be finished with him. He is the first and the last. Is that right? He's the Alpha and the Omega. My God, hallelujah, running well. My God, is all about starting in Him, abiding in Him, my God, and continuing, my God, with Him, and my God, being with Him in the end. Somebody say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You 
go to the women and say, without you, I can't do nothing. Thank you, Lord. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. My God. And men gather them. Hallelujah. And cast them into the fire, and they are burned. Tell somebody there's no eternal salvation outside of Jesus. There's no eternal salvation outside of Jesus. If you don't abide in him, did you see verse 6 there? Just as somebody say, no matter where you go, what you do, you always say. Take it to verse 6 right there, John 15, 6, okay? If you abide not in me, without me, you can't do nothing. If you abide not in me, if anybody, if a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is with it. Don't get gathered and cast into the fire and be burned. Verse 7 says, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, my God, you shall ask what you will, and it shall be done. Now, how many of you know you're not going to be asking for foolishness if his word is abiding in you, and you abide in him? But God's word says, I will ask what I will, and it shall be done. Finish reading the rest of it. Guess what? You have to read all of it. Tell yourself that. I got to read all of it now. Hallelujah. I got, if I'm abiding in him and his words are abiding in me, my God, I, he shall ask, I shall ask what I will. Mean. Because my will is not going to be carnal. My will is not going to be fleshly. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. My will is going to be spiritual. I'm going to be, my God, seeking and minding the things of the Spirit. Thank you, Lord. My God, I'm going to be walking in the Spirit and not busy fulfilling the lust of the flesh, my God. Hallelujah. And it shall be done because I'm going to be busy asking according to His will. Thank you, Lord. And verse 8 says, Herein is my body glorified that you bear much fruit. So shall you be my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Somebody say, continue. 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 Ye in my love. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Tell somebody, it's all about running away. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. It's not all because I started one day. That's not it. That's not all. Hallelujah. It's about starting. Amen. Stand in it. My God, and endure to the end. Somebody say amen. amen. Come on, say it like you mean it. Amen. amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Verse 10 says, if ye keep my commandments, you shall abide. You're going to continue in it. You shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandment and abide in his love. Thank you, Lord. And in John 8, my God, 31 and 32. Running will, my God, requires us to continue obeying the truth. No way pays the books about As we read back in Galatians, my God, if he did run will, who did it of you that you should not obey the truth? My God, when we are hindered from obeying the truth, we stop running will. My God. The Lord Jesus says in 8 and 31 of John, Thank you, Lord. Then said the Lord Jesus to those Jews which believed on him. Thank you, Lord. If you continue in my word, then. Somebody say then. Uh -uh. Not later on. Then. My God. Hallelujah. No, maybe tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow ain't promised to you. Don't count on it. Somebody say then. Are ye my disciples indeed? My God, continue in his word. And ye shall know the truth. Verse 32. Ye shall know the truth. You're going to be doing the truth. My God, you're going to know it. You're going to be experiencing the truth. My God, you're going to be walking in the spirit and not fulfilling the lust of the flesh. Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you. My God, somebody say, make you. Say it like you mean it, make you free. 
Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. My God, hallelujah. Not just my God, uh, shall be free. My God, but shall make you. Uh, my God, you will be made just like a new creature. My God, you will be made just like a new heaven and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Uh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Thank you, Lord. And in John chapter 17, verse 16 through 19. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. What well, we see why it is to the utmost importance to obey the truth. Uh, my God, which will, will be running way well. on. Uh, hallelujah. Obedience to the truth. Uh, not just quoting the truth. Uh, my God, not just speaking the truth. Uh, hallelujah. But somebody say obeying the truth. Thank you, Lord. Running well. Hallelujah. My God, in John 17. Hallelujah. Begin verse 16. The Lord Jesus is praying, and he says, They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Hallelujah. My God, you see, we're going to see here why it's to the utmost importance to obey the truth. Hallelujah. And go, the Lord Jesus goes on praying and he says, As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I sent them, or have I also sent them into the world. And for their sake I sanctify myself. For what purpose? That they also might be sanctified through the truth. Sanctified wow, through the truth. So I say sanctified through the truth. Hallelujah. If I'm not obeying the truth, I'm not being sanctified. I'm not being set apart from the world. My God, I'm going to get what the world going to get. And the world going to get, my God, what the devil and, my God, his angels. My God, something that was made for them. Look at your name and say, hell was made for them. Hell was made for them. You didn't just cuss. You say what the Bible said. Hell was made for the devil and his angels. My God, if we are not sanctified through the truth, running well. Somebody say, I got to be running well. Thank you, Lord. If I'm not sanctifying myself, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. In obedience to the word, my God, and I'm not set apart from the word. I'm yet worldly. I'm yet carnal. My God. Hallelujah. The Bible says, the Holy Ghost says to the child of God, love not the word, neither the things that are in the word, which be in the word. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life are not of the fall. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Somebody just pray right here. Whatever I just say right quick, just lift your hands. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Just say, Lord Jesus, help me, my God, be sanctified through the truth. Come on. Say it like you can say, Lord Jesus, help me be sanctified. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Come on, you may be seated. Hallelujah. We get to the end here. Thank you, Lord. You know, 1 Corinthians chapter 9. Hallelujah. Verse 24 through 27. Hallelujah. Now, running well always maintains the purpose of obtaining. Somebody say amen. amen. Running well maintains the purpose of of obtaining. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. My God. How many of us have started in this race? Yes, come on. Amen. Come on now. How many of us have started in this race? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Well, we got the purpose, my God. Hallelujah, my God, to run away, oh my God. And my God, and, and, and running well, it's all about maintaining. My God, the purpose of obtaining. Let's look and see what this is here. My God, verse 24, at least the chapter 9. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize. Now, of all in this race, why are they in it? All are running in a race. All of them are running to win in that race. 
Only one received the prize. Thank you, Lord. Look what the Holy Ghost says to do. So run for with what purpose? The purpose of obtaining. That he may obtain. Thank you, Lord. Anybody want to press toward the mark? Is there anybody in here pressing toward the mark? For the prize. Y'all ain't talking to me. Pressing toward the mark for the prize. Come on here. One received the prize. Thank you, Lord. If you're not in the one, if you're not in Christ, you're not going to receive the prize. That's why we got to be busy pressing toward the mark of the prize of the high call of God. Where is it? In Christ Jesus. Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. If I'm not in that one, I'm not going to receive it. I've got to start in him, be baptized in him, abide in him. My God, hallelujah. And keep on running and abiding in the truth. Walking in the spirit of truth. Somebody say amen. amen. Excuse me. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Verse 25 says, And every man that striveth for mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown. But we, my God, why are we striving for the mastery? My God, striving with the ETH after it. My God, uh, ongoing continual presence. Oh, ongoing continual action, rather. Hallelujah, my God. Oh, my God, for the mastery. My God, hallelujah. It's temperate in all things. Uh, under control in all things. Uh, hallelujah. Walking in the Holy Ghost because a fruit of the Spirit is temperate in it, right? Hallelujah, my God. Always be not being controlled by situations, uh, but my God, hallelujah, controlling ourselves in the situation. Always abiding in Him while I'm in the situation. Uh, always abiding in Him and through the temptation. Uh, somebody say amen. amen. Thank you, Lord. Temperate in all things. Uh, now they do it to obtain a corrupt crown, but we do it to obtain. Uh, we so run to obtain an incorruptible crown. Somebody say yes, Lord. Hallelujah. My God, verse 26 says, I therefore so run, not as uncertainty, I so fight, my God. Hallelujah. So fight, not I as one that beateth the air. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. This thing is not my imagination. I, I'm not doing it as an uncertainty. Nay, man, my God, there's a crown. There's a high call of God in Christ Jesus. And I'm running well. Somebody say running well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I got to be all about abiding in him. Sanctified to the truth. My God. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Separate from the world. My God. Abiding in him. Hallelujah. Sanctified in him. Because without him I can do nothing. Hallelujah. But this is what I'm going to be busy doing. Uh, verse 27. Uh, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection. Uh, hallelujah. Tell somebody I got to be temperate in all things. Look at somebody say temperate in all things. Hallelujah. I, hallelujah. I keep my body under. I keep under my body and bring it into subjection. Lest by any means, when I preach to others, I myself should be a castaway. Hallelujah. My God, thank you, Lord. See, I just can't start the race, but I got to keep on running. And I got to run well. I got to abide in the truth, in the heat. In him who is the way, the truth, and the life. I've got to continue to walk in the spirit of truth. I've got to seek to, my God, seek the spirit of God to guide me into all truth. So I say all truth. Thank you, Lord. It's all about running well. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, my God. So it's all about, my God, so running your ways. Your race, my God. Hallelujah. So you can lay hold of the prize and make it yours. Somebody say amen. amen. 
Thank you, Lord. And as we quote it by God, Galatians 3 and 12, 10, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high call of God. Hallelujah. In Christ Jesus. My God, like the Lord said, if I'm not abiding in him, I can do nothing. My God, but now that I've been baptized in him, my God, hallelujah. I mean, you know, when you repent and are baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus, you're baptized in his death. Hallelujah. My God, you and my God, so many of us have been baptized into Christ. Guess what? We have put on Christ. Hallelujah. My God, and we've been baptized in the Holy Ghost. We were baptized in the body of Christ. Hallelujah. Now being baptized into him. My God, hallelujah. We've got to be busy pressing for the mark. Hallelujah. Striving, my God. God, to obtain the prize. See, I can't just run just because everybody else running. I've got to run to obtain. Somebody say that. Thank you, Lord. I can't obtain unless I'm sanctified through the truth. I can't let nobody hinder me from obeying the truth. Somebody say that. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Hebrews 12, 1 through 3. Hallelujah. It's finishing it up here. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Well, we're going to see three things. Hallelujah. That will help us to keep running away. Thank you, Lord. Well, for seeing, we also are compassed about. Hallelujah. The first verse of, oh my God, Hebrews chapter 12. Well, for seeing, we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of it. Let us lay aside. Let us sanctify folk. Let us church going folk. Let us folk that call on the name of the Lord Jesus. Let us. Oh my God. Somebody we may have to say, let us lay aside every weight. Anything that can hinder us from obeying the truth. Every way. And the sin, whew, which does so easily in the sense. Easy. How many of you know just a little leaven? Easily. Just a little leaven will beset us. My God, it will get us out of the race. Hallelujah. My God, it will bring us, we will step out of the spirit into the flesh. And remember, we're only sanctified in Him. Yes, we got to abide in Him. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord. Yes, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us. And somebody say, let us run. Let us run. Let us run. Yes. Thank you, Lord, with patience. The race that is set before us. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Let's be busy stripping off and throwing aside everything that could hinder us, everything that will encumber us, every unnecessary weight. Thank you, Lord. If it's not about abiding in Him, get rid of it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. With that, you can't do nothing. Without Him, you can't do nothing. Abide in him, you're going to bring forth much fruit. Thank you, Lord. Tell somebody, it's all about abiding in him. My God, look at somebody else to say, let's run away. Let's run away. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, my God. Hallelujah. My God, and we've got to deal with, my God, whatsoever. It's that little leaven. That little worldliness, that little thought, that ain't nothing wrong with it. How many of us have said stuff like that? I don't see nothing wrong with it. Say on. Right. Jesus. Yes, Lord. I ain't mad about that. Didn't Bible say prove all that? Yes. Didn't the Holy Ghost, through the Apostle Paul, say prove all things? Yes. Despite our problems, I prove all things. Prove it. Even the Lord Jesus said, my God, in the mouth of two or three witnesses, let every word be established. Prove it. My God, so guess what? When you say, we don't see that wrong with it, 
You ought to also prove it by saying, well, what's right with it? What's right with it? What's right in the eyesight of, eyesight of God with it? Huh? What's right in the Word of God about it? Huh? What's right about it? Well, I don't see that wrong with it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Remember now, if it's not about abiding in Him, you're going to be like a branch. That withers up, huh? Dried up and broke off. You're going to be gathered and cast into the fire. What's right about it? That's the best question. Thank you, Lord. We've got to deal with issues. We've got to lay aside every weight. Thank you, Lord. Get that little leaven and the sin which does so easily beset us. And let us run with patience the race that's set before us. That's the first thing. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We've got to run with patience. Patient endurance and steady and active persistence. My God, hallelujah. The appointed course that God has set before us. Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah, my God. Thank you, Lord. And verse 2 says, my God, another thing we need to be busy doing. Looking unto Jesus. Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah, my God. When somebody says this, that, and the other, look to Jesus. Amen. My God. Well, I don't see that wrong with it. Look to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. My God, without him, we can do nothing. We're not going to bring forth fruit that pleases God, that glorifies our Father, which is in heaven. Let's be busy looking to Jesus. Let's look away from everything that will distract us. Yeah. Hallelujah. Remember, you did run well. Who get ahead of you that you should not obey the truth? My God, that if we're not looking at Jesus, we're going to be distracted. Amen. And whatever we're distracted by, oh my God, it's going to cause us to go after it. We're going to be lusting after that. We're going to desire it. We're going to step away from the truth to go after some fleshly desire. Mm. My God. Hallelujah. My God, you ought to just wave your hand and say, Lord, help me be led by your spirit. Help me walk in your spirit and not fulfill the lust of the flesh. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Looking unto Jesus. Looking away from everything that will distract me. My God, looking at Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. My God, he that's the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end. The author and finisher of our faith. The one who said, continue in my word. And you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. And to the Galatians who had began to obey the truth. And started listening to some strange doctrine. And stop obeying the truth. And was entangled again in a yoke of bondage. Because they stopped obeying the truth. They stopped running away. Let's keep looking to the author and finish it by faith. Amen. Who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. And verse 3 gives us our final text. We just stand with us. Come on, stand with me in the name of the Lord Jesus. For consider him. Consider him. Think of him. In what you're fixing to do. In what you're about to say. When you're getting ready to pray. Think of him. Looking unto Jesus, the only vision of our faith. For consider him, think of him, who said, I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Think of him. Consider him, who sanctified himself. So you can be sanctified through the, through the truth. Consider him, think of him, that endured such great contradiction of sinners against himself, who sanctified himself, 
endured such contradiction of sins against himself to keep what from happening lest ye be weary and faint in your minds and stop running lest ye be weary and faint in your minds so that you won't grow weary and exhausted start losing heart relaxing and fainting in your mind. The Lord Jesus said that being up always pray in that faith. Can we just commit ourselves to make sure that in all our decisions we're not distracted from Jesus? We're always looking unto him. We're always considering him. Thank you, Lord. And we are busy laying aside every way. And the sin which does so easily beset us. That we are careful about every little letter. Careful about it. Do me a favor, would you please? Everything that you think or say that I don't see that wrong with it, would you please consider that as a little letter? Yeah. Or that it might be a little letter that will continue to leaven you until you are a whole lump that's not in him. That can't bring forth nothing. Because without him, you can't do nothing. Would you please consider every thought you have? I don't see that wrong. See, the adversary wants us to think like that. So that we will do what's right in our own eyes instead of what's right in his eyes. See, when we are busy looking to him, it's all about what's right in his eyes. It's all about honoring and glorifying him. Yes, Lord. It's all about abiding in him and his word abiding in us. So we are be right away. Because as the Lord Jesus declared, he that endureth to the end, the same shall be saved. That's the one that's going to be saved. We've got to endure. We've got the purpose to obtain the prize. We're not just running because everybody else running. That's what the crowd do. That's what this is doing. That, no, no, no. I'm running to obtain not a carnal crown, something that's going to pass away, but an incorruptible crown. That moth no Oh, oh. No moth, no rust, anything. My God can touch it. But it's in the heavens. Hallelujah. Come on, would you pray with me in the name of the Lord Jesus? Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. To always consider Him. Continue to stay looking unto Him and not let anything distract us. Hallelujah, my God. Looking unto him, laying aside every weight and every sin. Oh, my God, which does so easily beset us. And keep on running with patience. Oh, my God, the race that's set before us. That, that race, oh, God. Hallelujah, that you've appointed. To, that cross that you've appointed so that my hand so that my heart, my God, can be in your hands. Thank you, Lord. So that my hand can stay busy doing your business. Oh, God. So that my feet can stay busy walking in your spirit, oh, God. Please, oh, God. Hallelujah. Come on, pray with me. Please, oh, God, help us. Oh, God, pray help us. Help us, oh, God. Help us, oh, God. You must value the importance to be saved by you to the uttermost 
We've got to be busy abiding in you. And your word got to be abiding in us, my God. And we set your word aside to fulfill some desire, to fulfill some lust, to do something that we don't see nothing wrong with. Instead of considering you and looking up to you to see what's right in your eyes about it. Oh, God. Help us to pray always so that we won't faint. You said that, my God, we be, we've got to be busy watching and praying. Oh, God, so we'd be kind of worthy to escape those things that shall come to pass on the earth and they that dwell upon it. Oh, God, hallelujah. We want to be called up to meet you in the air and be with you forever. Oh, Jesus. Help us, help us by God, hallelujah, to know that we need to stay busy. Oh my God, lay it aside every weight. Not picking up more weight, but lay it aside every weight. God, that, that will hinder us. Lay aside the sin which is so easy to set us. That little level of God. Help us, my God, hallelujah, to so run to obtain the purpose to be as you are. Oh, my God, when you come so that we'll see you as you are. Oh, God, we'll be with you forever. God, obey. Yes, it will. Now, help us, my God, to abide in you because in you we are new creatures. Hallelujah, the righteousness of God is all in a we, we have become the righteousness of God in you, O oh God. Hallelujah, we we'll always be busy. My God, through your spirit, have the wait patiently for the hope of righteousness through faith. And the hope of righteousness is to, my God, see you, O oh God. Hallelujah, to be like you when you come, oh my God. To be busy being righteous and doing righteousness. Oh, my God, hallelujah, even as you are righteous. In the name of the Lord Jesus, help us, oh God. That's why your spirit is in our life, oh God. The advocate, the comforter, to be our help, to guide us in the whole truth, so that we'll be sanctified through the truth, so we'll be set apart from what the devil and his angels will receive. Oh, in the hell that you created for them, that you made for them. My God, and all those who obey out the truth, that for all those, my God, who, oh my God, who deny your name. Oh God, hallelujah, we want to be busy, running well, hallelujah, and enduring to the end, purposing to obtain in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus help us. If you would please, brother, sister, think of something in your life that you need to lay aside. Think of some weight that's causing you. Oh my.